Hello, welcome. In this video, I will be going over Witchy BND, which we use to access the archives, which we gained access to by unpacking our game files. This allows us to actually get at the game assets and sort of package our own assets to go back into the game. This program is the successor to Yabba, as they state here, which means if you have, say, followed old tutorials where they suggest using Yabba, at this point, Witchy B and D should replace that. So, if we just go into the releases, you can download your zip file with the program in, and you can extract it any way you like. I like to have a programs file for FromSoft modding programs. And before we start, we need to go into the game directory, grab the U2Core DLL, and copy that into the Witchy BND directory. I assume this file holds some sort of decryption key that is needed. Now that we have all of this set up, we need to go and find an archive to unpack. I use a lot of part archives in when I'm modding, and so if we simply go and look at a weapon archive, I'm going to choose weapon 1329. It's important to note when you are creating your own mods that underscore i after a part means invader. I'll go over this in future, but generally they are lower quality to save resources. So if I drag this part bnd.dcx onto witchy bnd, you'll see it opens up. And as you can see at the top, there is a folder with the same name as the dcx that we opened. Inside, you can see there is an XML. If we open this XML, we can see some of the properties of the file. Inside, down here, this is the main part that I would ever edit. It is the actual file tree of the archive opened. If you ever wanted to add or remove a file from an archive, you must add it here in this file section in the same format seen here. Other than the file section, the main thing you might want to change is the file name. This allows you to set the name of the archive once recompressed with Witchy without having to change anything crazy. And the last thing to mention right now is the compression. It's very rare that you have to change this, but for some files it is recommended to change the compression type while working on your file, and then revert back to the original compression type after you have finished and it is ready to ship. If we look at the files we have in here, we have an FLVER file. This file contains mesh data and also contains links to material and texture data, and we have a TPF file. This is another archive that can be opened with Witchy. You may have noticed that I'm dragging and dropping these files onto Witchy BND, but they all have a Witchy BND icon. That is because I've set up in Windows Witchy BND as the default program, allowing me to just double click to open these archives. I recommend you either do that or add Witchy BND to the context menu. TPF files, once opened, have a, an XML just as before, and they have DDS format textures in. We'll get onto this in a future video, but if I was to edit one of these textures, I would then have to repack this TPF by dragging it onto Witchy BND. As you can see, it's created a backup of the previous TPF and then a new archive created just now, as you can see by the timestamp. Once this TPF is repackaged, the original archive would also have to be repackaged just as before. Now that we've gone over the basic functionality of Witchy, I can show you some other files that can be opened using Witchy. For example, message files. You get these XML files. FM FMG extracts into XML, which you then would drag back over Witchy in order to revert. Menu files. If I want to access parts of the menu, the UI, 
I could open these archives in Witchy and get access to the raw image files, script files. If I wanted to access the talk scripts, which we will be going over in a future video, I can open these bnd.dcx files with Witchy and it will give me an archive with ESD files. As far as I know, these ESD files cannot be opened with Witchy and need a different program. We can look at CHR files. These are stored in a similar format to the part files, where they will have, say, 2270, a CHR BND. This is similarly laid out to the part files. However, they come with extra files such as the Annie BND, Beb BND, HTEC BND, iTech BND. These all link together to make a character model, but regardless, we can still open these files and take a peek at the archive. FLVR files require a different program to open. I use Pear's FLVR editor, whereas HKX files require a Havoc setup to open, which is a bit more complicated to set up. Regardless, these files cannot be opened further with Witchy. I feel that's everything I need to go over with Witchy. I will see you next time.